I wanted to show you what's going on inside this charger here. So we can kind of see, it's got a nice big beefy transformer that I like. Uh, the AC power comes in over here and here, and then it goes through a relay. There's a, a, a relay that, that turns this thing on to turn the AC on. This is the primary here, and it has various different taps. And we can see the switch here uh, for the, the, the two amps. So the, the two amp is a, 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 the blue, blue tap, and then the yellow is a, the 10 amp, and the red wire is the tap for the 50 amp, and the orange is uh, the, the other side of the, the coil. We can see on the back side, you can see these two red wires, and that's the secondary. And there's a, you know, approximately 20 volts AC coming off of uh, that. We can see our power lead cables come in right here, and the black cable is hooked up to this uh, metal heat sink here for the negative. And the positive comes through this way. We can see it goes through a self-resetting uh, relay, which I'll talk about more in just a minute. And then it goes over to the meter, and then it comes back to the transformer. Now here's the big problem I see. This is a self-resetting circuit breaker. It's a Busman short stop rated for 20 amps. And so when you get to 20 amps or so, this thing clicks off and then it resets, and it clicks off, then it resets, and it clicks off, then it resets. And I just don't know how they're going to say that this is a, a, a 50 amp unit when it's only rated for 20 amps before the circuit breaker starts uh, breaking out there. So anyway, uh, this is uh, the big problem and the reason that we can't do 50 amps of this thing. You know, e even 20 amps. If I put it up to... You can see it's still doing that thing on the 50 amps. It's still... Uh will not uh, take the 50 amps. I, I don't know what's up with that. It seems like a very poorly uh, designed current limiting, but you can hear a relay clicking on and off. Let's go back down to the 10 amp thing. I was reading a top rated review on the Harbor Freight website for one of the models of this power supply, and the guy said he hooked up a, a momentary actuating switch to enable the outputs to when you have a, a battery with too low uh, uh, a DC voltage to power the unit. And I looked into putting it in here. And man, it didn't work out too well for me. Okay, there's a relay that connects the the, the power from here to here, which energizes the, the transformer. Well, I put a jumper from there to there, and I go, hey, this is gonna be easy. I jump it from there to there. The transformer had power, but the output still did not have power. And apparently the, the two big control elements uh, that are bolted to this heat sink uh, they're, 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 I'm sure that they're rectifiers, but they're also somehow switch controlled and they need the voltage coming on. And so I did not see any real easy way to get this thing to, to have a momentary on switch to power it on. So I guess I failed there, sorry.